Hello YouTube, this is Sonic2KK here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about functions. And now, a function is basically just a piece of code that you can write, much like a variable, except it runs code. It's like a variable that runs code that you can use over and over again to save you having to write that code yourself. So, if you want a function to constantly ask the user for its name, instead of you having to keep, say that's about four lines maybe, instead of you having to type that each time, you can just write a function with a name, and then you can reference that name later, or call the function, which means just putting, just referencing the function, I guess, and it'll run that code for you instead of you having to type those four lines again you type five lines and then you just constantly uh, call that function or reference that function or use that function that will do that code for you so enough of me talking how about I actually just show you what a function is so a function oh there we go that's exported so we want to say def hello world function pass so what did I just do well much like in a variable whenever we say x equals 10 or x equals hello world uh, here we have to say def the tell function Python okay Python we pretty we're putting def here because we want to make a function then Python's like oh okay so tell me what you want to call your function and here we're calling it hello underscore world underscore function and we have to put these two parentheses here or just normal brackets well actually uh, these are brackets but I know a lot of people call these brackets the technical term for these is parentheses but forgive me if I call them brackets because to me it's the same difference <laughs> um, even though that's not correct but anyway you have to put these here for a thing we're going to learn about later on called parameters or arguments which is additional information you can add to that function to make it function. Uh, see what I did there? Um, but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial. We're probably going to cover that in the next tutorial. But just know that you need to put this here. And then afterwards, we put a colon in. And then what we do is we indent four spaces. And then we write pass. And I will explain pass in a second. But why do we have to indent four times? Well, in Python, to indicate that something is indenting in, or in a function, or to basically define where a block of code begins, a block of code is just, it can be as long as a billion lines of code, or just one line of code. To define where a block begins and ends, or tell Python where a block begins and ends, uh, we have to use indents. And we have to indent four spaces, because that's the Python standard. For indenting so it's not just to make our code look pretty you actually have to do it and if you don't want to write a block of code like if you're writing a function and you don't want any code in it yet uh, you're going to get an error like here we get an error indentation error expected and indented block well it actually is indented but there is no code here python gets confused but if you don't want to write any code in your block yet just hit pass no error but uh, hopefully that makes sense. So a block of code is just basically some code that you've written. And each time you make a new block, you need to indent by four spaces. So if I'm in another function inside this function, function inception, I need to indent another four spaces because that's a new block of code. So, and then you type just type pass if you don't want to write anything in that block yet, even though you've wrote pass. Uh, that's Python keyword. Basically, we just pass on, move on, don't care. And it go on with the program. Um, so what do we want this function to do? Well, we want to say print hello world. Now if we run that code, nothing happens. So you might be wondering, well, why did we write that function and say it should print hello world if nothing happens? And that is because we need to call the function or reference the function. It's like in a variable, you define a variable, but it doesn't print anything. It doesn't print anything to the console, you need to uh, reference it or print it first. Well, with a function, you don't print a function. What you do is you call a function and we say, hello world function. And then we put in our parentheses. 
So we run this, it'll say hello world. Now remember up here we defined our function with def, which basically tells Python that we're defining a function, def means define, and that here we put in our function name. This is because down here we want to call our function or use our function. Using our function is what is known as calling our function. That's what I'm going to be calling it from now on. Using a function is called calling a function. Just remember that. Calling is using a function. So we call a function by its name and we use these parentheses or brackets because up here, like I said, we put our arguments, our parameters in here and we put them in there. We put them in here. I pointed to it there. Uh, we we put our arguments, our parameters, our extra information in the brackets here, uh, and that's why we need the parentheses. Even if we're not passing anything in, we still need the parentheses. Oh, there we go, that's uploaded. Um, I had something I wanted to say there. So yeah, we call it by its name, and then use the parentheses, parentheses and that basically says that, uh, you know, there's a, we're calling a function, if that makes sense. But we don't, we need these, but um, we're not putting in any extra information yet. But Python doesn't care. It's like, right, okay, so you're not using any information. I don't care. You still need your parentheses. And you're like, okay, 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 I'll put them in. Calm down. And so Python calms down. You go have a nice cup of tea with it, and then... Take it out to your next dinner, film, then before you know it, you're married. Um, anyway. Oh, just to recap one last time, we say def to tell Python that we're defining a function. After that, we put in our function name, and then we use our parentheses, or brackets, to say to Python that you know, this is where we're going to be putting our extra information. But even if we don't have any, we still need it, because Python's going to go mad if we don't have it. And then we use a colon to define, to say to Python, all right, we're beginning a block. And then after you use your colon, you have to indent four times with four spaces. All you say is one, two, three, four, or press the tab key in your keyboard. Sorry about that, I just had to go do something. So like I was saying, press the tab key in your keyboard to indent four times. That should be the default for your editor. If not, Google how to make four spaces the default. If you're just using Notepad, uh, and tab doesn't work, press space four times, like that, and you'll get an indent. And so text, I believe, for Python, the default is uh, four spaces, so you should not have to do anything if you're using Sublime text, but you never know, never know. Um, then uh, we define our code block in here, we define Everything that we want to do, and that's known as a block of code, and everything we want to do just happens to be just print, hello world. And then we just call the function by its name. Uh, so here it's hello world function. So we call hello world function, and then we use our parentheses, our brackets here, because that's what we have to do, otherwise Python won't be too happy. And then we just build and run our code, and it will run the code in here. And it just so happens that the code we run Prince, hello world. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you need any help with anything, or you want to see me cover something, leave a comment. But as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.